Just like my own country, Ireland has one or two sports that are more popular than football. So the stadiums are quite small, but nearly every ground you'll see in this video has a distinctive design, with a history to match it. With that being said, here are the League of Ireland's Premier Division stadiums. Daly Mount Park, Bohemians. This small, unassuming stadium has played a big part in the history of Irish football, being one of the more prominent football venues back in the day, often used by the national team. It has obviously been surpassed, the facilities are not quite state of the art anymore, but it is currently in the midst of a redevelopment. This stand has actually been demolished already. And although plans had to be revised, the stadium will be looking pretty much brand new in a few years time. Turner's Cross, Cork City. When the stadium was renovated in the mid to late 2000s, it became the first stadium in Ireland where the capacity was made up entirely of covered seating, making it one of the finest stadiums in the country. However, at the moment, it's arguably not even the best stadium in a one mile radius, simply because there's this rather nice rugby stadium over here. A few years back, one of the roofs actually collapsed during a storm. Other than that, some spectators get a very interesting looking church in their sightline. Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium, Derry City. London Derry is actually over in Northern Ireland, but judging by their omission of the word London from the city's name, I assume most Derry City fans associate themselves with the Republic of Ireland. It's not unusual for a football stadium to have a running track around the field, but for the longest time, this stadium had a greyhound track around the field. Since they got rid of the track, they've moved the field a bit closer to the fairly modern main stand and built a brand new stand on the other side. The Greyhounds are next door now. United Park, Drogheda United. This stadium was already small enough to begin with, but the capacity has been reduced by a couple of thousand for safety reasons. And I can't say I'm surprised, the stadium does look a little ramshackle. There's a decent amount of rust about the place, and overall it just looks like the stadium's seen better days. However, I actually kind of like the aesthetic of a stadium that looks like a shanty town. As long as you're up to date on your tetanus shots, it's all good. Oriel Park, Dundalk. Interestingly, there's a stadium in Baltimore called Oriel Park. It is spelled differently, yes. But there's also an area in Baltimore called Dundalk. And it's coincidences like that that make me question whether man has really even walked on Mars. I'm not so sure anymore. As for the stadium itself, well, there's a nice mix of different stands. There's some old terracing that has had some seats added. They've also added some more plastic in the form of a pitch. Yeah, fake turf isn't all that uncommon in Ireland. Which is ironic given the country's nickname of the Emerald Isle. Richmond Park, St. Patrick's Athletic. Well, of course he's athletic. He chased all the snakes out of Ireland. Unfortunately, St. Patrick got a bit too big for his boots and tried to do the same thing in Australia. Rest in peace. I believe St. Patrick's have been trying to get a new stadium built for themselves. Not sure how that's coming along. For now, this stadium's not too bad. There is a lot of uncovered seating and standing room some of which is partially covered by trees. Not sure how much use that is. This end did have a roof up until recently. I don't think that was a result of a storm, but perhaps it was damaged by it. Tola Stadium, Shamrock Rovers. As you can see from the construction taking place in these shots, the stadium has recently had some work done at the south end, and there's actually a new stand being built at the north end as well. If you're a regular viewer, you may have noticed in previous videos that I do have an odd obsession with colour. I hear you're a racist now, father! <laughs> no, I was, I was going to mention the seats and their many colours. Quite beautiful, as is the backdrop of the Irish countryside. It's a bit of a shame that the new stand will partially block the backdrop, but that's not such a big deal.
Kolkata, Shelbourne. Or perhaps it's Shelbourne, like how we say Melbourne. In case you're wondering, the stadium sits near the Tolka River, so that's how it got its name. Although it's perhaps not in the best condition, I quite like this old ground. It has a very interesting design to it. Most notably, this small off-centre stand to the northwest of the ground. I'm not sure I've seen anything quite like that. It is the only stand where you get the luxury of a roof without the nuisance of pillars obstructing your view. This stadium's not quite as rusty looking as United Park, but some areas are looking a little bit rough around the edges. The showgrounds, Sligo Rovers. This is one where the facilities are actually decent, but it's a little lacking with regards to character. It has three plain and simple all-seater stands, and that's about it. I believe not too long ago there were some unusual remnants from the days when it was actually used as showgrounds over on the empty side. Once more, the club planned to redevelop it, increasing its capacity, but it's still going to remain fairly straightforward. What it certainly does have going for it is the hilly backdrop. UCD Bowl, UCD. It's probably a stretch to call this a bowl stadium, but it's just the name. I mean, there's a haircut called a bowl cut. It's not like they put a bowl over the person's head and cut around it. Well, I stand corrected. The UCD Bowl is probably the most simplistic of the stadiums in this league. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It looks like they're playing in a park rather than a stadium. The one and only stand is built into the grass embankment and there's nothing but nature surrounding the rest of the field. And those were the League of Ireland Premier Division grounds. My favourite of the lot would have to be... Yeah, Tuller Stadium was pretty good, wasn't it? If you're new, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.